cross tour. You did it. You made a fantastic product that actually is usable. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram if you want to go there too. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the CT7000 Crosstor 1080p action camera. This is the box that it comes in. I'm giving it a four star rating. I'm actually quite impressed with this. I've done another action camera in the past that had horrible audio. We're actually using the Crosstor CT7000 right now to record this video. I'm, that's how impressed I am with it. It's just $36 without the lightning deal. Most of you probably spend more than that to fill up your car. All right, so I'll have a link in the description below to get this. This camera is really good. The value of this camera is unbelievable. That's all I have to say. All right, here is the cross tour camera. Here's the screen. To get into the menu mode, hit this down arrow here, okay? Then you do the up and down arrows to do what you need to change. Now, let me just back out of here real quick. We're in, this lets you know, this icon here lets you know that you're in video mode. So you press the power button shortly and you go into different modes. This is car mode. So if you want to use this as a dash cam, you can do that, which is pretty neat. <laughs> you hit it one more time. This is photo mode. So if you want to make changes in the photo mode, you want to change the resolution because right now it's set for 12 megapixels as you can see and it's set for fine 12 megapixels fine we have 10,000 images well more than that i have a 64 gig card in here it's tremendous so it'll last for a long time hit the down arrow here to go into the menu and here we have all the options there's quite a bit so we go 12 megapixels we hit the button on top here the ok button and that'll go into which options we want to do. So we go down and I'm just going to select this to three megapixels, hit okay, and then hit the front button, which is a power button here to exit the menu. Or we can go further down and check out the other options in the, in the, uh... now this is, this, uh, th these options are for camera only. Burst mode, stabilizer, which I turned on. Now, if you want to go into, see how it disappeared, the blue, and it went to this. Now we can actually move to the next, the top button here, and you go to the next section, the next tab. So you have sounds, power save, screen save, rotation. If I move the camera, will it change the position of the image? You might maybe want to have that turned on if you plan on putting the camera in upside down. It'll still record right side up. TV output, it's like that's FPV. So if you were using this for your, for a camera for a drone, that's what that is for. That's what the Wi-Fi would be used for. So you can actually see what you're doing with the camera. Date and time, setting the date and time, English output, you know, the TV output for NTSC, which is English, American rather, I should say. Light frequency, this is important because it comes set as 50. All right, so you want to change this to 60 because that's what we are here. It'll look funky if you don't, okay? And this tells you what the operating system is and all that good stuff. Let's see. What version it is, blah, blah, blah. Okay, back up. Let's go through, whoop, back up again. And they can actually play as well. You can play through it. So if you go to that mode, you get car, video, or JPEG. So car, if you're using it as a dash cam, video, whatever you recorded, and JPEG or pictures. Makes sense. Now we're on the video side. Hit the down arrow here to get into the menu. And then we go into the resolutions here. So, so 1080p, 30 frames, 70, 20p, 60, and 30. And then this is the fine, normal, super fine. I leave it for super fine, obviously. The image is okay. It's for $36. This is a perfectly working <laughs> camera. It actually works. It's usable. 
and that's pretty much it. 1080p at 30 frames per second, 720p at 60 frames a second, and 720p at 30 frames a second. Those are the three modes. It also does pictures, 4 megapixels, 5 megapixels, all the way up to 12. For $36, it's worth it. I'm giving it a 4 star rating. It comes with two batteries. I threw in a 64 gig memory card in this thing. It says it has 10 plus hours of recording time. The batteries will be dead way before I fill up the 64 gig card. So that'll work perfectly fine. It comes with so much accessories. It comes with the waterproof case, by the way. I mean, and an extra back. God forbid something should happen to it. It seems to be that it'll work really well. I'm only giving it a four star rating because that if I scream like this, the audio sounds distorted when it records. So it doesn't have any peaking level capability. <laughs> you know, $36, what do you expect? That's why I'm giving it four stars. This is a good camera, good value. Excellent value, actually, not good value. I'll have a link in the description below to get it. The reason why I'm using this camera for this, for this review is that the audio quality is incredible. It records it at 700 kilobits per second mono at 44.1 kilohertz. Holy macaroni. Crosstor, you did it. You made a fantastic product that actually is usable. To all my subscribers, you know me. You know me. If I tell you the product is good, it's good. If it's a piece of shit, it's a piece of shit. Don't buy it. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We're actually using that, this picture. Oh, God, you know what I Why do I have so much gas? Oh, my God. Creative Labs iRaw. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for, for, the, for the price difference between the two,